following video will introduce a technique of classification, organization, creation and use of collective knowledge, which is called ACCI 3.0. This knowledge management model, which means active, cooperative, collective intelligence, was already applied in previous works, where students who were divided into different teams create knowledge during the academic course. This knowledge is shared between them and uploaded to a repository in the last days of the course. Once the course is over, the teaching staff selects the knowledge created by the students classifies it through an ontology which is created by the teaching staff themselves and uploads it to the knowledge repository. Finally, students in the following courses use the knowledge placed in this repository. In this research work, the way to use this model is defined as follows. Students create a classification of knowledge and the know-how. As students create knowledge, they upload it to a repository. The uploaded knowledge is used by each student of the course. What we are presenting in this article is the identification of the folksonomy that defines the student's vision of the different knowledge that they generate themselves, the type and quantity of knowledge that the students create during the course, and a students' perception of the knowledge created collectively. This work has been performed with the students of the course Fundamentals of Programming corresponding to the first year of bio biotechnology degree at the Polytechnic University of Madrid. The academic year in which it has been carried out is 2019-2020. 16 work teams and a total of 97 students participated in this research work. The students have defined two main groups, content and learning. The content group has been divided into the most important specific and general targets. The first row shows how students have clustered the class content. This corresponds to the different scoring blocks of the subject algorithm, R, and teamwork. The second row identifies the classification for each block. In relation to learning, it has been divided into three groups. Learning activity, which is associated with the created resource, the profile of the resource recipient, and the type of resource. This table shows the classification defined by the students for each subgroup. As it can be seen, this table shows the contents created according to learning activities. The first column shows the type of knowledge that has been uploaded to the repository, and the second one shows the amount of knowledge uploaded for each branch. Relating to perception of usefulness, it is worth noting that the same trend of result has not been obtained for the people who have been leaders of the teamwork as for those who have not been leaders. While for the leaders the most useful knowledge has been the knowledge created by the team, for the rest of the people it has been the one they have created themselves. As a conclusion, it is important to remark that students have created their resource classification around two axes, the different accessible blocks of the subject and the learning tasks carried out in it. In the first axis, the accessible blocks are specific to each subject and this will vary significantly for each of them. In the, on the axis related to learning, the students have used a classification that could be applied to, be, to very different subjects. Regarding the type of knowledge created by the student, it was found that the most of the resources are connected to the activities of understanding a concept, which provides information about the student's demands on the types of resources. Finally, according to students' perception of the learning at Quai, it is worth noting that the leaders think that the most useful knowledge has been the one created by the team, meanwhile the rest of the people assert it has been the one they have created by themselves.